Okay, just a quick update. Uh, Garrett has put out new firmware updates for all three Vortex machines. For the VX9, it's 909. For the VX5, it's 502. And for the VX7, it's 702. Each one includes a number of improvements, uh, but here we'll show you a couple different things just to demonstrate a few of the improvements you'll find with this firmware. Some people with their Vortex, not all, but some, had experienced some target ID lockup issues. So that's one of the big improvements you'll notice with this new firmware. Uh, to demonstrate that, I've got a number of large targets here and a couple of silver targets. And we'll go over those to show you how you can pick up the big target and move to your next target and then quickly resume detection on the different target. So I'm running with zero discrimination in multi-frequency mode. Let's go over a few of these targets here and let you listen to how quick it can pick up detection of the different target beside it. I'll start with a big crushed soda can and then move to a large ferrous or iron object and on to a silver half dollar. So there's a big strong response from that soda can. Move to my iron target and you quickly hear a different response altogether. And then shift over here and you see that I'm quickly picking up that silver half dollar. And step back over this way, we've got a big iron horseshoe. Nice grunt sound with the zero discrimination and multi-frequency. And then over to this adjacent silver coin. Cleanly picking that up. So there's no target ID lockup going on here. You just simply move to your next target. You've got complete different detection on the new target. Another thing I like with this new Vortex update is the ability to create your own custom profile. So your sensitivity and channel remain fixed, but you can change almost any other setting on your Vortex and save it as your custom mode. On the screen, we'll list all the settings you can save here in custom, but for demonstration purposes, I'll change a couple of them. So I'm in standard. I'm gonna go down to custom and select that. And if I go into my settings, I'll jump up here to the frequency. Let's go for multi-frequency and say my favorite is 13 kilohertz. We'll go with that. Go up here to speed, I'll go from one to a setting of three. Let's just say that's my preferred setting. So now that's my new custom mode at 13 kilohertz. And to show you that that actually was saved, let's go back in here in our modes and jump up to standard again. Standard's already reverted back to multi-frequency and it went back to a speed of one. But now if I go back and double check this, go back to my custom profile, select that, let's look at it, what we got here. My speed went back to 13, my speed went back to three, and my frequency went to 13. So my custom profile was retained. There you go. So bear in mind with this custom mode ability to set these new profiles, if you do a factory reset, you will have to go back and reset them. But as long as you don't do that, you can turn the machine off and back on again, switch through different modes, and each time you come back to custom, it's retained. So I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of good stuff here with this new update. Go in and check it out. You can download it for free for your VX5, VX7, VX9. Good luck and happy hunting.